As Chief Executive at High Peak, I'm really proud of our employees, the way they show pride in their job and the way they show pride in serving our customers and our community. High Peak is rightly proud of putting its customers and community first. Customer service can deal with a wide range of enquiries which often take our customers by surprise. When a customer has a certain query, we can look on our CRM system. There's over 500 queries on there, so we can always make sure that the customer is given the right information and putting the customer first. Our customer service team are proud because we do all work as a team and we want to make sure that we give back into the community and we're there for the local community as well. Before the refurbishment we were cramped in the air, it was badly maintained, badly decorated all over. We got everybody to sign a petition asking for maintenance really. We sent that in to High Peak Borough Council. They have listened to us and they have reacted. It has been improved and we're really pleased with it. High Peak Borough Council respects people and value diversity. And one of the ways that we've done that is to make sure that the uh, public toilets um, are all compliant with the Disabled Discrimination Act. Uh, and by carrying out the refurbishments, I think that's, it shows that we listen to people um, and we're actually taking on board what people want and uh, showing respect. I am proud to live in the High Peak because it's a, it's a great place to live. So, uh, and uh, working for the council is one way to put something back in. The Government's Respect Campaign on the High Peak is all about tackling the bad behaviour and promoting good behaviour. So between us all, we can encourage a culture of respect within the community. The council recently has appointed an antisocial behaviour coordinator to deal with the, those issues locally. And we've had some really some great success in recent months. When I see all the success that the partnership's had over the last two years, it makes me very pleased and very proud to live in the high peak. Our main aim is to encourage participation and increase participation in sports and physical activity. A particular success that we're very proud of as a section is uh, the Free Swim initiative which took part over the summer holidays. We also undertook recently the High Peak Games where 250 young people took part. When you actually see what's happening out there, it makes you feel proud that you've been part of it and you've been able to, to give people the opportunity to take part. Innovation was set up because a lot of residents wanted um, additional recycling to happen throughout the borough. It's a twin bin scheme with a green curbside box. The really innovative thing about Binnovation was the marketing and promotion of it. Binnovation, 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 that's what you need. It makes me very proud and it makes me quite um, happy to be working um, for something that means so much to the residents and also for the High Peak. In 2004, we joined forces with Derbyshire Dale District Council to form the Joint Strategic Housing Team. The partnership is very innovative as it's the first in the country where two local authorities work together. I'm proud to work for High Peak Borough Council because it's a forward-thinking local authority and it's going places. Came back onto the property market and uh, had a need for, um, for, for a more modern property. Because this scheme was available, it meant I was able to buy um, half of the property uh, initially and rent the other half. The shared ownership scheme, it's given me a, a great change in my life because it's given me, I was, I was in a uh, not very good housing accommodation before and uh, you know, it's given me a brighter future and uh, another chance at a time in life when uh, I wouldn't have expected that to occur. The Crescent was developed as the centrepiece of Georgian Buxton and it remains as the, the focal point of the town to this day. What's proposed is an 87 bedroom spa hotel, it will be a four star facility and it will be linked to a new spa in the building next door. There will also be a visitor attraction where people can come and learn about the town's fascinating spa heritage. One of the most exciting things about it is it fits perfectly with developments happening elsewhere in the town. The University of Derby have just opened a campus in the old Devonshire Royal Hospital and that in itself is a centre of excellence for spa treatment. This is an immense scheme for a small authority like High Peak. I feel very proud to be part of this scheme. Buxton is a centre of excellence for heritage-led regeneration and we are a small authority who are very much punching above our weight. Clean streets are a very high priority for all our residents and uh, 
they want to live in a, a clean and pleasant community. Um, we want to share that pride and give them de their desires and aspirations around clean streets. We've recently received a cleanliness award for, through the Britain in Bloom uh, for the East Midlands uh, area. Winning the Cleanest Community Award has given the whole team and, and myself personally a, gr a great sense of pride because it's not something we've achieved before and it shows that the benefit of the work we're actually carrying out at the moment. Manor Park has benefited from the Gloucester Vision Livability Project uh, and has had over £3.5 million pounds worth of investment. We've had um, quite a lot of sort of community input into the design of things and particularly with the skate park we worked with a group of um, young people to work on the design so that it made sure it was exactly what the young people wanted. I am particularly proud to work for Hagley Borough Council because of projects like this where you can really make a difference to the town such as Glossop and the local community. The food safety work that environmental health does delivers efficient services to the public because we only target our resources at the higher risk businesses and those businesses which are most likely to cause harm. We carry out about 450 planned food inspections every year. On top of that we investigate about 500 complaints about food hygiene issues. Our town mill became vacant as a result of the decline in the manufacturing industry. It was uh, vacant for about two years and during that period the council was looking for ways to induce new uses. Once the development is completed, it will be made up a range of different uses, comprising retail on the ground floor, um, offices above, with a pub restaurant occupying first and ground floor, and the remainder of the mill itself will be occupied by 63 apartments. Yeah, I'm proud of, of Glossop, um, and I think Glossop is going to be a totally different place in five, ten years. The Green Flag is a national award given to the people of the parks, the people of Glossop for a very high standard of work. Winning the Green Flag uh, gave our team a great sense of achievement and satisfaction. As a team and, and as an individual, you feel proud that you're actually working for the council because you're actually achieving something basically to help the community. We feel very proud to have won the East Midlands uh, in Bloom Award. We hope to get gold next year with the introduction of more uh, exciting bedding schemes, uh, more hanging baskets and more barrier troughs around the town. I'm proud to work for the council because I've lived here all my life. I feel things environmentally are getting a lot better and it's nice to contribute to that. Our benefit section has been recognised as one of the best performing benefit sections in Britain and the Department for Work and Pensions has also given us an excellent rating. It's important for the benefit section to perform to a high standard because we process benefit claims for people in the community who need help with their rent and council tax. Our aim is to pay the correct benefit and time to the right person on time and when we do that it makes me proud to be part of such a high achieving section. We were given Beacon status for our work on a number of sustainable energy initiatives across High Peak. The Beacon Award came with a grant of £67,000 and we used this money to uh, employ someone and to provide advice to uh, around 30 councils across the country to help them improve their sustainable energy performance. Climate change is really in the news at the moment and I'm really proud that High Peak's playing its role in, in trying to tackle these problems. Pride means to me is that every day when you come to work, you put the concerns of customers and the community first. And when you leave work in the evening, you can take pride in the job well done.